For the circuit demo, what I'll do is uh, use this circuit from demo number one and add a real-time clock to it. Both the real-time clock and the uh, LCD adapter will be using the same I2C bus to communicate with the Arduino. So in this case, I'm going to have two of these I2C devices uh, uh, speaking using the same two wires to the Arduino. So I'll do the wirings. Just plug the real-time clock uh, onto the breadboard. Then let's start with the power. I'm going to connect the power from the breadboard to the Arduino using the breadboard's uh, power rail. Let's say ground and the five volts. And I'll connect the uh, communications bus. So to do that, I'm going to use, uh, be careful with the colors to make sure that the colors from the uh, LCD adapter and uh, the wires that I use to connect uh, the real-time clock to the Arduino match. So I've got from here SDA, which is yellow. So I will plug the SDA column from the real-time clock into analog pin 4 on the Arduino. And the white will be the clock as CL. That goes to analog pin 5 for the Arduino Uno. Let's do the power for the real-time clock. So ground is the second pin. That goes here. And the VCC, the next pin goes here. And finally, for the LCD adapter, I just match colors first. So I've got the yellow that goes to the yellow column on the real-time clock and the white which goes to the white column for the real-time clock and last power from the LCD adapter on the power strip. Right, let's plug it in and see what we have. Right, so still running the script or the sketch from demo number one. So let's upload the new sketch and see if we can get the time. There we go. So what I've got here is a hybrid from um, demo number one and the lecture that we did back in, uh, what was it, lecture 48, I believe, the real-time clock lecture. So looking at the uh, first few lines, you can see that uh, I've got everything that I had earlier in demo number one, and now I have included the real-time clock library. Uh, nothing surprising. We initialize and instantiate the LCD object, which is of liquid crystal underscore I2C class, and then I've got my real-time clock RTC object. I just uh, initialize those devices uh, for the real-time clock. I just initialize by grabbing the time and date from my computer at the time of compilation, and uh, just print out the values onto the screen now. First, well, first goes into the real-time, sorry, into the into the monitor, so we can get this output. I believe that should be 9,600 boards. Correct. Yep. And uh, then I just output the same values onto the LCD screen. So there's really 
nothing to it. So the, as you can see, it's pretty easy to have uh, multiple devices, multiple I2C devices onto the same bus. Uh, one little trick that I'll show you is um, a way to detect the addresses of connected devices. Sometimes you buy a device of eBay and uh, it's not really well documented as to what its address might be. Uh, in such cases, what you can do is you can go to the Aduna Playground and look up a very conveniently available script called I2C Scanner. And uh, what this uh, sketch does is to run through, I'll show you the part that does it, it runs through all the 127 uh, possible addresses that uh, I2C devices may have. And if it hits a device that has that address, then it will print it out. Um, it will print it out here like this. So it will show you what the address is. Now you can grab that address and uh, plug it into your sketch. Uh, so if you have a device with an unknown uh, address, just plug the device on its own onto your Arduino, run this script, and the script is going to tell you what the address is. Very convenient. You now know how to connect an LCD screen to your Arduino using a single data wire and how to combine multiple devices on a single I2C bus. In this lecture, we used a real-time clock with an LCD parallel to serial adapter. As an exercise, try to add one or two additional I2C devices. Here's some recommendations. Add a BMP085 temperature and barometric sensor. We saw this device in lecture 9. Display the temperature and humidity in the LCD screen. Add an SD card module. We saw this device in lecture 45. Store BMP085 readings in a log file. Although we have not yet discussed adding external EPROM modules to your Arduino, understanding how they work is easy based on your existing knowledge. You can consider the AT24C256 serial EPROM device, an inexpensive way to add memory to your project. It uses the I2C interface and is easy to use with the appropriate library that I'm linking to in the notes.